Now, Barbara, I've worked in sales organizations throughout my whole life, and everyone knows the $100,000 account manager does the high value work during business hours, and they do yeah. the $10 an hour work at night after supper. I don't know why they don't have virtual assistants. <laughs> like hire someone, you know, go on Upwork. <laughs> yeah, anyway. but that is, therein lies the problem though. And what, what you find happening then is that, you know, when you get people who are unhappy in their job or like you try and get feedback from your team and you're like, I don't understand why he's unhappy. He's getting paid this much money and he only does this. And then you dig in and go, well, they're unhappy because they're up till midnight every night doing yeah. work they don't want to do, yeah. but they have to do it to keep the job. So they're just, you know, it's just you lead to burnout and unhappy people because they're doing stuff they don't want to do. Yeah, this is bringing back so many memories of back. Uh, one of my first careers was with the Yellow Pages and some of the older guys that I worked with had trained their spouses to do paperwork. That's exactly what we're talking about here. They were clever because they were training their spouse to do it. But how about if we just hired like how about if every business was strategic about this and was like, let's hire an assistant. Now, the next step, though, then is managing change management, because sometimes right. some people, if you don't manage that conversation correctly, your higher level people might think that you're trying to siphon them off and slowly offshore. So you've got to be very careful about how you manage the conversation mm -hmm. around taking work off them. And yeah, I've fallen into this trap myself. So that's just another tip. But again, this is all delegation. This is the topic of delegation, right?